Scramble – Sukuranburu Sukuranburu is a 1981 side-scrolling shoot-em-up arcade game. It was developed by Konami, and manufactured and distributed by Layjack in Japan and Stern in North America. It was the first side-scrolling shooter with forced scrolling and multiple distinct levels. The game was a success, selling 15,136 video game arcade cabinets in the United States within five months. By August 4, 1981, becoming Stern's second best-selling game after Berserk. Its sequel, the more difficult Super Cobra, sold 12,337 cabinets in the U.S. in four months that same year, adding up to 27,473 U.S. cabinet sales for both. By October 1981, Scramble was not ported to any major contemporary consoles or computers, but there were releases for the Tomy Tutor and Vectrex as well as dedicated tabletop, handheld versions. Several unauthorized clones for the VIC-20 and Commodore 64 used the same name as the original. Gameplay The player controls an aircraft, referred to in the game as a «jet», and has to guide it across a scrolling terrain, battling obstacles along the way. The ship is armed with a forward-firing weapon and bombs, each weapon has its own button. The player must avoid colliding with the terrain and other enemies, while simultaneously maintaining its limited fuel supply which diminishes over time. More fuel can be acquired by destroying fuel tanks in the game. The game is divided into six sections, each with a different style of terrain and different obstacles. There is no intermission between each section, the game simply scrolls into the new terrain. Points are awarded based upon the number of seconds of being alive, and on destroying enemies and fuel tanks. In the final section, the player must destroy a base. Once this has been accomplished, a flag denoting a completed mission is posted at the bottom right of the screen. The game then repeats by returning to the first section once more, with a slight increase in difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> Scoring Per second the jet is in play, 10 points, Rockets, 50 points on ground, 80 in air UFO ships, 100 points Fuel tanks, 150 points Mystery targets, 100, 200, or 300 points Base at ends of levels, 800 points An extra life is earned for every 10,000 points scored, and unlike future Konami games, this cannot be changed nor disabled. Handheld versions A dedicated Tomitronic version of Scramble was released in 1982. A second electronic tabletop version of Scramble was released the same year in the UK by Grandstand under license from Japanese firm Epic Co., who sold the game in Japan under the title Astro Command. Gameplay differs from the arcade version as no scenery is rendered and the ship has no need to refuel. A handheld compact LCD version known as Pocket Scramble was released the following year. Topic reception Scramble was commercially successful and critically acclaimed in its time. In its February 1982 issue, Computer and Video Games magazine said it was the first arcade game to send you on a mission and quickly earned a big following. The Vectrex version of the game was also praised in a review by Video Magazine, where reviewers praised its fidelity to the original arcade game and described it as their favorite among the Vectrex titles they had reviewed. The game's overlays were singled out for praise, with reviewers commenting that when you're really involved with a Vectrex game like Scramble, it's almost possible to forget that the program is in black and white. David H. All of Creative Computing Video and Arcade Games reported in 1983 that no test player was able to get past the fourth level of the Vectrex version. In 1982, Arcade Express gave the Tomitronic version of the game a score of 9 out of 10, describing it as an engrossing game that rates as one of the year's best so far. Scramble made the list of top 100 arcade games in the Guinness World Records Gamers Edition. <inaudible> Legacy According to the Nintendo Game Boy Advance Gradius Advance Intro and the Gradius Breakdown DVD included with Gradius V, Scramble is considered the first in the Gradius series. 
However, the Gradius Collection Guidebook issued a few years after by Konami, lists Scramble as part of their shooting history, and the Gradius games are now listed separately. An updated version of Scramble is available in Konami Collector's Series, Arcade Advanced by inputting the Konami code in the game's title screen. This version allows three different ships to be chosen, the Renegade, the Shori, and the Gunslinger. The only difference between the ships besides their appearance are the shots they fire. The Renegade's shots are the same as in the original Scramble, the Shori has rapid-fire capabilities triggered by holding down the fire button, and the Gunslinger's shots can pierce through enemies, meaning they can be used for multiple hits with a single shot. Re-releases Scramble joined the Xbox Live Arcade library for the Xbox 360 on September 13, 2006. Scramble was made available on Microsoft's Game Room service on March 24, 2010. Scramble was re-released in 2005 for PlayStation 2 in Japan as part of the Oritachi Gisen Zoku Sono series. Scramble was re-released in 2007 for Nintendo DS as part of Konami Classics series, Arcade Hits. <laughs> Legal history In Stern Electronics, Inc. v. Kaufman, 669 F2D 852, the Second Circuit held that Stern could copyright the images and sounds in the game, not just the source code that produced them. See also Caverns of Mars 1981, vertically scrolling Atari 8-bit computer game inspired by Scramble Cosmic Avenger 1981, Vanguard 1981.